As we continue to stay on top of that breaking news in Charlotte, we wanted to share some of the most searing images from tonight. So we're going to go to the monitor. I want you to take a look at this picture here. This is from the Charlotte Observer. This is police in riot gear and also some protesters carrying that shooting victim to an ambulance. Next, this here is the Charlotte Hornets NBA store uh, down by the arena. You can see the glass shattered there. Um, in the next picture here, we have a man throwing chairs through the windows of another business. This is from ABC News also from ABC News. This picture here, very compelling. A lone man there. You see the protesters across the street and him on his knees, apparently praying and thinking thoughts to himself. We're continuing to monitor those things in Charlotte. And at this point, it appears that things have quieted down quite a bit. Well, thousands of people are living illegally in homes and condos all over our valley, breaking in, taking over, bringing crime, trashing properties. Well, Contact 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears peels another layer off Southern Nevada's squatter problem, showing how it's impacting our economy by scaring investors away. Casa Vegas was once a modest but solid community near Maryland Parkway and Vegas Valley Drive, but squatters have turned it into a living hell. Residents are scrambling to get out, realtors can't rent or sell available units, and investors are seeing their money go down the drain. Just how bad is it? Watch this. How's he gonna say I'm squatting? My mom lives right here, we're moving. Realtor Julia Suarez has seen enough. I'm sick to my stomach. She called security and recorded this scene yeah, you did. Bro. of a woman believed to be squatting at Casa Vegas condominiums. You want to tell me that my <laughs> broke? You didn't break my property? I'll break yours. Julia says squatters have already made good on that threat. They vandalized the AC unit that's above the units on the roof. Um, they took out the thermostats. The squatters have gone so far as to cut holes in the walls, allowing them to access the units. There's that one here, and there's another one there that goes to yet another unit. The place is completely unsecured, allowing the squatters free access to come and go. They have stole everything. I mean, everything from the top to the bottom. Pat Burton used to consider this condo her home until suspected squatters started a fire in some vacant units on New Year's Eve, displacing 17 adults and 19 children after the building was left with no power or water. My world, my world has ended. <laughs> My total world is gone. It's still Christmas in this apartment at Casa Vegas, and all around me is evidence of a life left behind. Not because the residents wanted to leave all of their possessions, but because after the fire, they were told to get out and stay out. Then, when squatters invaded, everything was ruined. They stole my bed. They stole my bed and my granddaughter's bed. While residents like Pat are leaving, property owners are faced with big bills to fix the damage. So everything has completely been ransacked. One investor who Julia represents owned 15 properties. He sunk a lot of money into the Las Vegas economy, but is calling it quits because of squatters. He just said, sell them all, get rid of them. I can't do this anymore. The investor's insurance no longer pays for repairs. And your client is someone who had put a significant amount of money into trying to make nice low-income housing available to people in Las Vegas. And he's taking a hike. Yep, he's saying goodbye to Las Vegas. Julia fears it's a downward spiral. Do you think this is something that is going to potentially signify a trend where we see real estate investors divesting? Absolutely. Casa Vegas is in County Commissioner Chris Giunchiliani's district. It's a disappointment in that that will just further destabilize that area. Commissioner June Kiliani says what's happened to Casa Vegas is truly a shame, adding that the HOA and Pinnacle Community Management are failing to address the squatter problem. That's who they need to start with and hold accountable. Do you even know who's in your units? Do you even know who was given permission to be renting there? Neighbors say their complaints have fallen on deaf ears. We made multiple complaints to the HOA and we even called the police and it just spread and went like a rash. Remember that New Year's Eve fire? And actually the same people who burned it down are still riding through here. While people like Pat Burton have lost everything. They've taken my world to shreds. I'm shredded. I'm, I'm in limbo here.
No one from the HOA or Pinnacle Property Management would go on camera. Over the phone, Pinnacle told me they're doing their best to work with police, but having a major problem working with homeowners. Many homeowners, they say, have walked away from their properties and ignore all correspondence, making it nearly impossible for the HOA to step in, take control, and kick squatters out. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.